welcome to the CLL and H Model Railroad. Today we're going to do a Heritage Proto 2000 080 locomotive. And it is already DCC ready, but we have to do some modifications. We have to change the LED lighting um, because the light bulbs don't have the current rating for the AC current that DCC typically does. So in a sense, it's not really ready for DCC, even though it says it is. So a couple things we'll, we'll go through as we're uh, putting this one together. But I just got this in the mail. It was new. And so I'm just now first opening it up and we'll see what we've got. Uh, the paperwork and uh, of course the commemorative train clock that uh, they want you to buy. <laughs> That's probably no longer available. Alright, so let's see what we got here for the locomotive. Oh, and it is taped, so they didn't lie to me on the new locomotive. nice looking locomotive um, right off the top here it's pretty well detailed that's kind of the typical proto 2000 they do a little more detail than the average model and this is the heritage so it's supposed to be a little bit more detailed than even their regular proto 2000s it's got the knuckle couplers so all right, let's put that on the work foam. Oh, the tender is kind of neat. Got chains coming off of the trucks. So that's a nice little effect. Steel wheels. So from looking at this, it must get the pickup power off of the locomotive because there's nothing here that's showing any filaments for pickup. So, all right, I'll go ahead and get this all apart and then we'll take a look at what we've got in store for us. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back and this is what it looks like with the tender off. And this is the light bulbs that we're gonna to have to change. So I do have some LEDs that are just about that right size. So I'll measure those up, get those coming. Looks like what I'm gonna do, there's an eight pin here that this would probably plug directly into once it's flipped around, get rid of the lower card. That's just for the lighting. So we will look at which decoder we're going to use and how we're going to do that. Um, what I need to do now is take a look at the locomotive itself and find out which wire goes to what device, which one's the lighting, which one's pickup, which one's motor. Um, we do have six pins coming off of the, the locomotive here. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and take it all apart and then we'll take a look at it at that, figure out what we want to do. I'll be right back. All right, I've got a couple things I wanted to go over with you on my decoders. I'm going to use the Tsunami 2, Steam 2, TSU 2200. And with that, I'm going to use the 9-pin JST to the 8-pin wiring harness that Soundtrax offers. And I've got enough room, I'm going to go ahead and 
put a current keeper in there. So um, all that will go into the tender. I'm going to remove the, the lower board here. Don't need that anymore. And then I will use this small board here as my connection to this wiring harness. Um, I'm also thinking seriously about uh, a few other lights on this, but um, we'll see as we go. And uh, so I'll get this all apart and we'll figure out which LED I'm going to be using and I'll show you that and uh, be right back. Ha <laughs> ha. 